So you're about to click that big play button and now what? How do you do this? What is happening? There's so many interactions happening and building up on the screen. Why is she angry? Why is he happy? So with that dramatization behind us, The Sims 4 can be pretty overwhelming if you've never come across The Sims before. I'm going to be showing you how to play The Sims 4 today, and I'm going to be showing you using the game's inbuilt tutorial, actually. So The Sims 4's tutorial is actually not bad. I went through it myself to see what it offered and what I could add to it, and it's actually only a couple things I'd add to it. And hopefully this let's play of The Sims 4 tutorial will actually help you out quite a bit. Hi, I am Weezy and welcome back to We Sims. This is the Sims Newbie Guide, also known as the Ultimate Beginner's Guide also known as the ultimate beginner's guide to the sims 4. today i'm going to be showing you how to actually play the sims 4 so if you haven't seen the rest of this series like where i show you whether you can actually play it like from a systems requirements point of view and how to create sims and things like that then please go check those out but if you are at this point where you are ready to click play then awesome you're in the right place as an important notice the sims 4's in-game tutorial actually has a voiceover. I am not going to be letting that voiceover play because text will pop up on the screen. Rather, I'm going to be going through, I'm going to be the voiceover and I'm going to be adding commentary and putting a lot of the stuff into context as we go along. So after clicking open for The Sims 4, you're going to be brought to this screen. There's a lot happening. We're just going to focus here on new game. It's pretty important for me to inform you that I do have all the packs installed but I have disabled all of them and I also have no custom content. So this will be exactly how the game will look if you are playing it for the first time without any DLC installed. Click new game and then you have to be honest with the game and tell it that you're new and it will reward you for your honesty by giving you an actually decent tutorial. So we're gonna say yes, I've never played The Sims 4 before, give me a tour. So we press play and we're taken to create a sim. So I have a very extensive guide to create a sim. And for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to just whiz straight through it. I'm really not going to spend much time explaining what I'm doing here. I'm just going to select the aspiration for the sim that I want. Because these are specific aspirations for the Sims 4's tutorial. I'll click trendsetter for whatever reason. And it comes with pre-populated traits here. So you don't really get to choose these. They come straight with it. So I'm just gonna make my sim and then we're gonna get straight into it. Okay, so this is my sim Valentina Green. Valentina Green will be our tutorial sim. And I am original and made her have green hair after her surname. Well, actually her surname came after her hair color. So her name is Valentina Green. So let's get into it. Let's press here in the bottom right, play. Okay, so we immediately take into a home screen. A housemate is generated for you. And this is how you're going to learn social interactions. In the so here, we're being indicated that we should greet her. So we're going to click here and we just say a funny introduction. Your sim should follow Alex inside the house. Right click on Alex's portrait to have your sim ca to have your the camera follow them. So right click here. Hey, you can always get a preview of your sims needs such as hunger or social by the color of the diamond indicator above your selected sim. So this is called the plum bob. As it goes from green to red, look at the needs panel to see what your sim needs. So it's just a, a an overview to see how your sim's doing. And over here on the bottom right, you'll see the needs panel. Sims have six needs, bladder, fun, social, hunger, energy, hygiene, and they live like humans to fulfill those needs. And then they wants on the left here. And then previously it was just saying that we should see where Alex goes and then we should get our sim there Valentina we should get her there as well so you'll need to know how to use the camera so that you can see things you want to see use the buttons and scroll wheel on your mouse to control the camera this is why I say please have a mouse when you play the sims 4 so I actually have the sims 3's camera settings and options selected but here the principles stay the same so when I right click uh, it will take me around here when I click on something with a left click, it will interact with that object. Scrolling the wheel causes you to zoom in and out and holding that middle wheel left to right allows you to rotate the camera. Camera is going to follow Alex. So we need to follow her. So we have right clicked her portrait. And then the instruction that the tutorial said was to see where she goes and then to click on the ground nearby that that's where we should go. 
but this Awesome is also hungry. Valentina is also quite hungry. You can see that she's starting to get a bit pickish. Alexia has kindly started making food already. So in order to give you some to make food, you click on uh, any of these appliances really and your sim can start in the food making process. Different food options are available depending on what you click on. So microwaves offer quick meals, fridges offer more substantial meals. So it says here to click on objects to give directions to your sim. For example, click on the delicious food prepared by Alex and tell your sim to grab a serving. So much like we clicked on Alex to interact with her, we're going to left click on the food and click grab a serving here. Relationships are very important to sims, both for their stories and their social need. Click on Alex and select Get to Know to see your sims start a conversation. Feel free to experiment with friendship or romance to tell the stories that interest you. So I will get to that right now, but I just wanted to also note here, so for some things in the game, particularly food items, collectibles, uh, plants, things of the like, if you just scroll, if like, if you just mouse your, your, put your mouse over it, you don't click it, Information about the thing that was just prepared will come up. So what it is, how good it is, who made it, um, whether it's vegetarian set, because some sims are vegetarian, how many portions are left, and when will it spoil. So this is something that uh, is quite universal. So we're going to sit down here and start eating. For some reason, she's decided to eat there. Okay, that's fine. But we also need to get to know Alex. So here, I'm going to click here, get to know. Sims 4 sims are capable of multitasking in certain instances. So you can see here that Valentina is eating, that is her primary action here. And while she's eating, she is able to get to know Alex. So these are all the things your sims are doing simultaneously. And if you add things to the to the queue, like wash hands, it will pop up on top. Not part of it, because it, your sim is not able to wash hands while doing that. So now we've got an indicated shift your gaze to the top of the screen to see how the conversation is going. So here, you're going to have a look at this relationship or conversation tracker this tells you what kind of conversation is happening so here it's saying that there's a casual discussion at the moment you can see information about what kind of or conversation is happening if you scroll over here you also see what you already know about this sim. so we know alex's age we know her traits this is usually something that you discover throughout the game you don't automatically usually know what everyone's going through and here's the sentiments uh feature but it isn't part of the tutorial so not too much to worry about there. So we've just gotten a notification saying that sims need money to pay bills, buy better household items and even purchase food. Luckily we had Alex pull a few strings to get your sim a sweet job, which starts tomorrow. You can choose a different job later if you don't like this one. You always have choices to make for your sims. So the notification did pop up and here on the top right you'll see this whole panel there's a little notification wall that you can click here and we'll see here that Valentina's entered the style influencer career and she's now a rag reviewer at Smog Inc. She starts Monday at 9am. So then press continue. Your job starts tomorrow. If you need to find the time it's right next to the time controls in the bottom center of the screen over here. Here you can also control the game speed if you need to speed up, slow down or pause things. So here you can manually click each of these. But I find it's much nicer to just use the shortcuts of or number one being speed one, two and three on your keyboard when this unlocks, you'll see. And then you can also just click the little um, squiggle button next to your one and that will allow you to pause the game as well and unpause. Usually your sim needs to apply for a job or search for it or whatever through their phone or a computer. It isn't usually just offered, this is just for the sake of the tutorial. Here we can see that a new panel is opened up, the career panel. It says here J, so if you click J, it will go to that panel and open and close it. And if you see these lines, it indicates that you can drag it to resize the panel that you're on. So each of these can be resized depending on what it is. We'll get to the rest of them. But here you can see that Valentina's rag review, all of her things are here. We're going to get into her, her career more, but we're going to continue with the story of the tutorial. Okay, so something that the tutorial doesn't touch on that I very think is very, very important in The Sims 4 is to note that your sim, this little portrait here, shows that she is happy. This is the emotion that your sim is currently in and it also shows why she's happy. So these little, I'll say moodlets, it's what they were called in previous games, uh, indicate how happy it's making your sim and also what it is exactly. So here, Eating food that was well prepared, so you could see that this is an excellent meal. Eating food that was well prepared made your, made Valentina quite happy. 
And as she's continuing this, she wants to tell a joke because she's happy. So you'll see here that this green whim indicates that, that this is something that's motivated by her emotions. So Valentina has gone over to go have a look at some art on a wall here. We can't see the wall. The reason why we can't see the wall is that the gameplay mode, and you'll see here in the top right, is the wall's cutaway view. So, i.e. how the walls look. So you can press home and end on your keyboard as well as the keyboard, it's the shortcut here. So here we can have all the walls up, then half up, half down, and then completely down. And this is a complete like preference for how you like to play your game. I like to play them half up, half down. Here on full up, you can see the walls exactly. Then you can also press page up, page down, and this will take you up and down in terms of the floors in your house or on your property. Oh goodness, we're gonna be receiving a gift. So you can see here that something, that an, an action popped up in Valentina's, in Valentina's action queue. And it says here, receive gift from Alex. So this isn't something she's clicked on Alex. This is something that Alex has decided to do for Valentina. So you can see here that she's given Valentina a gift. Alex has a welcome gift for your sim. What a great tour guide. You should open your sim's inventory to see what it is. Think of the inventory as your sim's personal pocket with unlimited space, magic pocket. So here there's a nice arrow indicating where you should be looking and here, inventory. The shortcut for that is I. Your sim received an assortment of goods from Alex. The gift included some seeds for, the, for a garden, a book, and something to decorate the home. Thanks, Alex. So inventory, this is a very, very, very awesome part of The Sims. And this is essentially, like they say, is a magical pocket. So these are all on your Sims person, essentially. And you have your Sim has them with her constantly. But they don't need to stay there. So what we can do is we can, we see here that we have starter flowers. We have a little statue here. And we have a book, Charisma Volume 1. Reading certain books will help improve your Sims' skills. Uh, there are different skill books for essentially every skill in the game. So what we can do here is I'm just going to show you different things, but a little point that it are, is important to mention that these seeds, so when you click start of flowers, you see that there's an action here, this place in world, which will require you some to take it out and put it on the floor. But the other option here is to open seed packet. When you see this little orange target sign, it doesn't require your sim to add it to an action queue. Instead, it will just happen. Your sim has willed it and it will happen. So here, if I click these and I say open seed packet, it goes into her action queue, but she doesn't need to do anything. Automatically, we see she has six daisies in her inventory. There's many ways to interact with items in your inventory. You can click for options such as choosing to read the book over the seed packet. You can also click and drag an item to place it in the world, such as placing the seeds to be planted. So we can do that. Let's take a hint from the guide and go outside here. There are two pots here. So I'm going to take this daisy and click it and drag it over there. And you can see that because there's multiple in the inventory, the next one is automatically in, in your control. And you click there. You can also click them on the floor, put them on the floor here and plant them. But I just am going to choose to click escape on your keyboard and that continues that that puts them back in your inventory. The other thing we can put down is the sculpture. So let's say this little Lindsay sculpture, I'm going to click it and drag and pop it over here. There's also a book, the charisma book, and that we can pop over here. Now let's go interact with it. So you can see here now the option has been given to plant. So if we take this out, oh, very important is that some items like food, collectibles and flowers, things like that can be clicked and dragged in live mode and moved around. So if we move it out of this pot, of this pot there's no interaction I'm trying to click here nothing is happening on the pot it requires that you put a plant inside it in order to activate this potential uh, action of planting so we're gonna click plant there and we're gonna click plant there and we're gonna let Valentina uh, plant it another thing having a grayed out portrait indicates that you can't select that sim hey if you're finding this video helpful so far please let me know by leaving a like cool let's get back into it so now we're discussing aspirations. It's essentially your sim's life goal, which I explained in my creator sim guide. Click on the aspiration button at the bottom of the screen to learn about aspirations. So here, aspiration is G. Every aspiration has multiple levels called milestones. To progress to the next level, complete the goals, your sim is on the right track. 
Uh, so you can see we've already gotten to our roommate, she's grabbed something to eat. Now we want to attack the fun object and then it's going to be go sleep for the night. So, we, so that's it for the night, so we're going to need to wait until later to do that. But here to interact with the fun object. Actions that you give your sims will appear in the queue at the left side of the screen. You can mouse over actions to see more information or click to cancel an action you don't want your sims to take. So now we've planted our flowers. Now we click on the little mound of soil and water it because plants need water. I actually didn't even need to put down the second one because she automatically moved to watering the other one. So interact with the fun object. So there are a couple of fun objects here. So let's just do the simplest one and go with TV. Play around for a few hours by clicking on household objects or watch what your sim chooses to do. So as we're going along here, we just need to have this day pass. That is, that is what's happening. You can also see here that the conversation is pleasant. At this point, I'm basically just going to fast forward to the point that it's going to be nighttime for us to go sleep. And then we're going to start the next step. You can also see here her emotion has become inspired and now she wants to paint something. So she wants to finish a painting. So let's do a classic painting here. Let's do a small classic painting. That'll make her happy as part of her inspiration. So when your sims are inspired, they're more likely to produce high quality items, whether that be food, if they have high cooking skill or painting, if they have high painting skills. You can also see here that her energy has been coming down. And if you scroll over any of these needs, it'll give you little tips as to what you can do to boost it. In the normal uh, game, outside of the tutorial, if you click any of these buttons, it will automatically solve it, auto-solve. And your sim will go to the nearest thing to relieve that need. But energy here is coming down. It's, you see here that it shows that you can sleep, sit, essentially have a nap, or have some coffee to alleviate that. She's now finished a painting. So here's a small classic painting. She actually made a profit on it. It's worth 60 simoleons. You can see it's a normal quality. So I think that's actually quite cute. Let's take this flower painting and I'm going to click it and drag it and put it up on the wall over here. But now you start seeing that she's also uncomfortable. So as Valentina's uncomfortable plus one, she's tired and will need to rest soon. And then if you don't solve this soon, she will become exhausted in three hours. The same happens with the other needs. So now what does she want to do? She wants to level up in her painting skills. So let's continue here. Let's carry on painting while she's inspired. Let's make another painting. So we've just gotten the indication that it is now late enough. It's 7 p.m. Sims must sleep to improve their energy need. Click on the bed. Tell your sim to sleep. This way they'll be fresh and ready for their new job in the morning. Happy sims make for better employees. So when we go to sleep here, we're going to complete this, this level and the milestone. So let's stop. Our sim is very tired. That's really your only need that requires anything. So she's gone to sleep. So if every sim on the lot is sleeping, time goes super fast beyond this three plus. That can only be activated when sims are all sleeping. There we go. Now you see we've gone super speed at the bottom of the screen here. Eyes and shine, your sim should prepare for their first day of work. Click on the shower so your sim can clean up and fix their hygiene need. Go to the shower first. Okay. You can see that it's completely full, it can't go anymore, and this is about this interaction is about to finish. So milestone is complete, she's just woken up and she needs to prepare for work, make coffee, go to work, and then socialize with Alex after work. So she will go to shower first, because that is what the tutorial said. And when she's out, so that'll tick off number one here. And when she's out, she's gonna need to use the toilet. So then just queue it up. So you don't need to wait until she's done. You just add it to the queue and she'll get to it as soon as she's done with this. You can also see that her hygiene is slowly being filled up here. And as your sims have higher quality objects, it'll fill up faster. So she's feeling great from high needs. She's happy plus two, which makes me think she's actually quite happy. So she wants us to make coffee. So here we can go. So let's it's empty it because there's already coffee inside that's been spoiled. And then we can brew coffee for eight simoleons. So here at the top right, work for Valentina starts in an hour, about an hour. So it's almost work time. Our sim will automatically get the, the, one to, the action to go to work at nine o'clock, not so. So here, automatically it's nine o'clock, go to work. So we're gonna cancel this action when you go over and an action and click it you will that's already in the queue you cancel it she's on her way to work she's energized and she is just gonna hop on over to work it's time for work sims always go to work on their own assuming you don't prevent them from doing so so now that your sim is at work you can take control of alex by clicking their portrait so now alex has been unlocked to us we can then play around with her for the day see what she wants so see this click the simology panel to see more information about the sim this is where you can view traits age genealogy and other fun stats. You can also see here that now Valentina's uh, portrait is grayed out. We can click her and we can see uh, information about her, but we can't do anything with her because she's at work. And here it says here that she's at work and she's working normally. That's the manner in which she is working, which can be clicked in normal game. And now I'm just going to play with Alex until something important pops up in the tutorial game. Another thing that you can do when there's food around, so 
she can't cook because the tutorial is not allowing to but you can open the fridge and you don't necessarily need to see need to uh, open it to see it or to, for your sims to use it but your sims can have leftovers and that just happens when you click and drag some food from wherever it is into the fridge otherwise the other things you can look at so here's your sims traits here's her age if you just scroll over this you'll see or mouse over you'll see days until age up and you can see how long it'll be till your sim reaches the next life stage she will be an adult here you can see genealogy so it's saying here that so because I finally clicked what they wanted me to click in the tutorial, Alex's genealogy. So if she was married or if she had parents, they would pop up here. Her whole family tree would essentially pop up here. This is just saying that they're gonna leave us alone to do this. Um, you can also then see stats on your sim. To be honest, I've never used this. Like the tutorial was a big reminder for me that that's that this was something. But you can see, it's really it, it's just for funsies. Your sim is home from work, a little tired, but with more money in their pocket. Now is a good time to prepare dinner by clicking on the fridge, have a conversation or relax with a little TV. As you can see on the top right, Valentina brought home 144 simoleons today. She did some superb work too. That's excellent. So you have a look here. She's actually excellent. So because I think she did her tasks and she was working well at work, her performance is quite high, which means that it's very likely that at our next day at work, we will get a promotion. And you'll see that this little tick will become gold says here to socialize with Alex. So I'm going to use that as an opportunity to discuss outfit with Alex because discussing an outfit with her will help her fulfill her daily tasks as well. There we go. So she socialized, she's completed her first day on the job and she's completed that final aspiration. Now we want to clean the home, work on the daily career task, improve a skill and earn a promotion. Those are a number of things we can do. So it says she wants to clean the home. So how about we just come here and empty up this that's counted as clean, but now she's making coffee again. Okay, go for it. Again, so I think that if I was to clean this cup, yes, that will count. Then work on the daily career task. So let's come here and let's discuss outfit again. There we go. Fulfilled our career task, that's complete. Improve a skill, let's come back here. Oh, why can't you? Okay, for some other reason, the tutorial's not letting me finish this painting. I don't want to scrap it, I think it's gonna look cute. But she's actually quite energized so this would actually be the ideal mood to work out so let's do an energized workout this will actually also help her because she's energized uh do better and actually gain skill faster so you can see there that she is being boosted so she's improved on her skill here from doing an energized workout and you can see how far she is in her task by seeing how quickly this little interaction falls up so now she's done working out and she's had a good workout so she's happy plus two. So a good workout actually made her feel, actually made her feel really good. And it's boosting energized. It's also 9 p.m. She's not particularly tired though. So take a speedy shower. You can see that this little indicator means that this is only accessible while she is, uh, while she's energized. Then she's a little bit hungry. So let's come over here. Let's have dinner. And let's say over here, so I'm actually going to, instead of going this route, I just want to show you something. So if you click have dinner, you just have the options that are normal for that time of day. If you click to cook, you have all of the recipes available to the sim at the skill level. You can see the skill that they are, you can see the price that it costs to make, and also see the ingredients. If you click this little arrow here, or click on it, You'll see which options you can have you can see ingredients. So I can actually click this even though I don't have tomatoes in my inventory. But if I was to have tomatoes in my inventory, this would come down in price because I wouldn't have to buy ingredients. So I'm just busy sitting here and chatting. It's 11 p.m. in the cleanup and then I think she can go sleep. Let's just in explore this little panel at the bottom. So this is camera options. You can take a screenshot, take a video or capture a video and then view the screenshots in your game from this little panel. Instead of clicking that every time you want to take a screenshot, you can just hit C. That's just a, a nice way for you to take photos of your sims in their lives. Pro tip is that you can click the tab button on your keyboard to active to get rid of the menu and also have this free camera style and zoom in and out really nicely. So this will actually get you to some angles that you wouldn't have otherwise. Just click tab again when you want to leave that move that mode. That mode? Yeah, that mode. Alex is busy leveling up here. She's reached fitness level three. She's really doing well. She can now, and every time you level up, these little notifications will tell you new things that your sim has unlocked by virtue of getting to this next level. Alex, you should really like just go sleep. She can nap lazily. When you see this uh, like little icons next to it, it means that it is indicate that this is something that is unlocked by your sim having a specific trait. 
Valentina cannot do that because she does not have the lazy, lazy uh, trait. Here, it shows that she's woken up feeling sore, not because she's, she's uncom woken up feeling uncomfortable, not because she's stinky, but today because she's sore from working out yesterday. Let's just go to the toilet and then shower. You can take a shower, shower wall. Uh, here you can see that taking a shower, this little coral color indicates that ta doing this will help your Sims' current uh, moodlet. So taking a shower will help ease her uncomfortable moodlet. And you can see that as she's doing it, it has a green arrow coming down indicating that this is now speeding up to, to take away this emotion. So there are multiple actions in the game that counteract some of the emotions or boost the emotions that your sim has. Work for Valentina starts in an hour, no problem. Hopefully she'll feel better by the time she starts working. This is disappearing. You can see when it's flickering that it's going away. She's now also a little bit happier, but the primary emotion is uncomfortable because that was there first. But now it's nine o'clock. She's gonna be late for work. Go to work, go to work. And you can see here that time for work, this little, this little icon highlights or lights up. Now Alex has the house to herself, now we'll do some of that work. Remember, you can take control of Alex by clicking her portrait. So Alex is still sleeping. She's quite stinky though. So when she's done sleeping, I'm gonna click shower. So let's talk a little bit about what these different options are. So all of these are showers, but they will do different kinds of things. So if you just take a shower, it will just boost your hygiene. If you take a brisk shower, you can see here, taking a brisk shower will make her energized. Taking a thoughtful shower will make her inspired. So different ways of doing the same thing will change how your sim is actually feeling. So let's say, let's take a brisk shower because Alex has really been enjoying work, working out. So she's automatically just decided to go there. So you'll see when she comes out of this now, the shower is helping her because she was sore from her workout, but now she's energized as well, but she's competing with a sore mood. So she actually isn't feeling that energized <laughs> that I was hoping for. You can also see the color of um, Valentina's portrait here indicates that she's happy while at work. You can see now that Valentina's portrait has changed from happy to tense. She's tense because she needs amusement from low fun and she becomes desperate for fun in three hours. So if we don't do anything about this low fun, she's not gonna be very happy. She's actually gonna become more and more tense at work. So when she comes home, we should really prioritize stuff that's gonna make her feel happier and have and like feel like she's having fun. There we go. Welcome home, your sim is working steadily towards a promotion. Completing the daily tasks and promotion tasks are critical for career success. Click the briefcase button near the bottom of the screen to learn more about your career. So you can see here that she, so we can click there, I'll do that now, but she's been promoted to a consignment commentator. And then here you'll see how much her pay has increased, whether she got any, um, anything as a bonus and her new working hours. All of this is accessible here at the bottom right. Your sim needs to work on their daily tasks to earn a promotion. Some of the daily tasks require your sim to improve a skill or complete tasks for work. Being on track with work tasks will put your sim on a successful career path. Look at your sim's career panel to see what the daily tasks are. So now you see daily task is still to discuss outfits and fashion, but now she actually needs to reach level two writing. So even if she does this every day, she will not qualify for promotion if she doesn't have level two writing. That's given us something nice to work towards in our off time, but she needs fun right now. So here, this is saying that she needs to write. She's really not feeling nice though. I think I'm rather gonna get her to play a game first. So let her come play Sims forever. Let's get her to play a game, boost that fun a little bit. There we go. So now she's feeling happy from her promotion. Moving on up, this now an eight hour long emotion. So she's actually feeling quite good about this. And then she can practice writing because that is gonna to contribute to her career. So she's played some Sims forever. So now she's just busy uh, practicing her writing skill here, which is gonna to contribute to this. So this isn't just working on writing. She needs to get to level two. And the way we see what level she is, we go to skill here. You'll see here all the different skills that your sim has. And the one that's being highlighted indicates the one that your sim is currently working on. You now have free time to play with and to complete all your sim's aspiration goals. Check your progress and aspiration panel and remember to take care of the needs, but most importantly, have fun. So now she is working on her writing skill and you can see here that she wants to take a vacation day. She wants to travel to a community venue. She wants to go fishing for an hour and meet new sims. So we're gonna do all of these things and that will complete the, and that will conclude the tutorial. There's a couple people outside here. Let's go meet them. So then we've done that, we've completed that. Let's go fishing for an hour. So there's a little fishing hole here. So anywhere that there's a body of water and these little signs, you can click it to go fishing, but it's not allowing her to do that right now for some other reason. So travel to a community venue, 
take a vacation day. Uh, the ways that you normally do this are disabled at the moment, so I'm not really sure what they want. Okay, so I've tried to repair the game, I've left, come back, and it's still not working. So now let's just turn this into a mini troubleshooting. So we see here that the sim needs to take a vacation day, travel to a community venue and go fishing for an hour. After this point, if I remember correctly, this will say, well done, you've finished the tutorial, please click a new aspiration because those are specific tutorial aspirations. And then you have the option of adding a sim to your household, starting a new family, or um, just continuing with things as is. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. If you have glitchy things like this as well, then here you can just go to the options menu in the top right and you click end tutorial. Are you sure you want to end? You can always restart when you create a new game. So yeah, end it. And you can see this is the screen I was referring to. I'm just going to continue playing to show you guys how to do the things that have popped up in the in the, in the aspirations. You can see here, so when you finish an aspiration, you will get satisfaction points that can be spent in this reward store. And here you can buy traits or potions, each of these giving you some specific benefits. You can also then select a new aspiration at any point. You can jump between them and each and completing each of them will give you some specific benefits. The next step will be to take a phone. We need it to go to a community lot. So let's then travel to a community lot. Let's take with Alex and here Let's just go to the park because we needed to do an hour of fishing. So we needed to go fishing. So when you click something, anything, and you're with a friend or group, a social event, or even just at home, you have these little hexagons that pop up above their heads. You can see that, and that indicates that your sim is together in doing this. So you can either you can go fishing together, and going fishing together will cause your sim and the entire party to go do that activity together. So we're going to fish for an hour. And now that she's done fishing, I'm going to go to the phone and this is how you take a vacation day. You go to the job panel here, the work panel, and then you take a vacation day as a style influencer. Valentina's take a day vacation day, enjoy the day. So she doesn't need to go to work tomorrow. It says here she's on vacation and she will next go back to work on Monday. And this is a community lot. There are many other community lots in the game. Um, if you press the M key, it'll take you a shortcut to the map. You can see here there's a library, gym, nightclub, museum. So we're just going to take her back home. Alex has also moved out as part of the end of the tutorial, so we're just going to go home. And that then brings us to the end of the Sims 4 gameplay tutorial. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. I hope that you feel comfortable playing The Sims 4 now. I hope that you have fun telling your stories. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for the next episode in this series where I'm going to be showing you all the ins and outs of Build and Buy. See you in the next one. Sul so, so. Um, I'm just... Hey! Fortune's Queen just followed! Thank you, Fortune's Queen! Big welcome! We are about to start making little sprinkles. Thank you so much for the follow. Big welcome to the community. Hey, another little... Oh, where is it? Where is it? Hey, can you see it? The little train popped up. The little follow train popped up. Thank you so much.